It's finally that season again. Christmas edits, baby! But wait, you have no idea on how to make any of these iconic trends, so now you're stuck with being that one lame page that has nothing in season. Not on my watch. Today, I am going to show you how to make this intro of the most iconic Christmas trend, also known as this. Also, just because I'm a good person, I have made some of these door templates that you can use for free. So before we even think about starting the edit, pick the door you like from these three shown on the screen. Now go down to the description and click on the link for the door you chose. Then you will see about five photos. The first two should be the doors with one of them being the door background and the other one being the actual door. The other three will be the outside shown behind the character. Go ahead and look at all three of them and see which one you think that would look the best. Once you have all that ready, go After Effects and have your audio recorded. And if you don't have an edit audio for the style, then don't worry, homie. I got you. Go join my Discord server in the description and go over to my edit audio section. And go download the same one I am using for this edit right here. I promise you it's not the one where I'm singing over it like a jackass. I, pro I promise. And then drop the two door photos into the timeline. Make sure the background of the door is underneath and then the door is on top. If it isn't in frame, like if it's too small or too big, then select both clips and click S. And drag the values till it's in frame with your composition. Now once you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and drag the outdoors photo into your composition. Make sure it's underneath the two photos we just imported. Now go ahead and click on the eyeball for the door, aka the top photo, and you should see the background of the door in place. Now go ahead and zoom that in and adjust it so it looks good to you. Now just so we can see the door again, make sure to click on the side wall. Now that we have all our stuff imported, let's get started with the door opening animation. Now start by going up here, clicking on this icon, and also just make sure you have this enabled, and then select the door photo right here. Then you will see this so-called anchor point, and drag it to the end of the door, basically the side of the door where the hinges are. Now drag your preview bar to where you want the door animation to begin, aka right when you want it to start opening up. Now click on this 3D enable layer and then go down to this Y rotation. And click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Now go to where you want the door opening animation to end. Also just meaning where you want the door to be fully open. And drag that Y rotation out till it looks like it's opening like mine is here. Now if you go ahead and preview it, I'll admit it looks pretty ugly. So to make it smoother, we're just going to select both of these keyframes and then click the F9 command on your keyboard to easy ease these keyframes. Now select one of them, click on the graph icon, and copy your graph to look like mine. If you preview it, it's looking a lot smoother. Now really quick for the sake of making this look more 3D and real Go over to the effects and presets panel and apply drop shadow to the photo right in the middle. Then just go ahead and mess with the opacity, distance, and softness to your liking. And as you can see, just like mine, this will make it pop out more. Now we have the basic door animation. The next is the most important step. Just to find the photo of the character you want to use. I highly recommend that your photo will fit the entire character, at least from the head up to the waist down. This will just make it look a lot better and less like as if it was a CapCut template. Once you do find a photo you like, next step is to remove the background. If you already have a photo with a background removed, congratulations. If you don't, here's a quick little fix. Go onto this website called remove.bg and then just go ahead and import your photo. Now it should just remove the background of your photo really smoothly. And just in case it did mess up something, you could go here and touch it up to your liking. Once done, click on this download button and go ahead and import it into After Effects. Go ahead and scale it in and adjust it if needed. Now you want to drag the photo of your character right on top of the photo of the outdoors, which should also be underneath these two door photos. Go ahead and scale it and adjust it to your liking and then make sure all your photos are also the length of your intro. And just in case if you can't see your door, make sure you click on this eyeball thing. We have the main part of it down. Now to add some little details to make it pop out. First, I start by going into the effects and presets panel and applied the glow and drop shadow effect to my character layer. I also went ahead and activated the 3D layer and messed around with that to my liking. Our next step is to use this puppet tool to make the photo bend around and make it seem a bit cool. To do this, it was simple. Make sure you're at right before the door opens and then just go up here to this little pin and select it. Make sure you have the photo of your character selected. Go ahead and make points sort of in the shape of a triangle. Kind of like how I'm doing here. No dirty references here at all. Then go to where the photo ends. And just in case those dots disappear, you can click on this puppet tool effect so it will come Then drag this dot on top slightly to the left or right, whatever direction looks best. Next step is to select these two keyframes here. Easy ease to copy this graph I make. Little side note, but make sure you have motion blur activated on all your layers so it will appear more smooth. Make sure you like the way it came out, and if you didn't, just feel free to adjust. Now for the sake of being a bit more fancy, go ahead and pre-compose everything we just made. Just ignore these text layers up here for right go now. Go to right before the door opens and keyframe the scale value and the position value. Now go to where the door is completely open and scale it in just a teeny tiny bit. So we can still have the cool look of the door open. Go ahead and move the positioning so it makes it look like the character is directly in the middle of the screen. Now go ahead and click U. Easy to use those two sets of keyframes. Then just select two of them just like I did here. Now open up the graph and carefully drag this out to copy my graph. Now finally, let's make the
the text. I won't get too in-depth on how I did it, since I already have a lot of text tutorials out. The way how I made the text, I'm not going to get into in this video. But the next tutorial I'm uploading, hopefully, will be on how to make this horror spade up words. If it's already out, then check it out on the video card above. But the easy summary of me making this text would be that I use a font called Arial Black, basic glow and drop shadow effects, which was just messed around until I liked how it looked. Now, our final steps are just to pre-compose the entire intro, including your text you made. Then, let's go ahead and make this fast zoom in and zoom out animation really quick. Just because it hits the beat so perfectly, it'll make your edits look smoother. So, start by going where your audio starts to go in and out. Click on the S on your keyboard and keyframe that scale value. Go over a few frames, most preferably like 3 to 8. Then, go ahead and increase the scale value to something around 110. Then, go over 3 to 8 keyframes again, put it back to 100. Repeat this process till the audio completely jumps into the edit. Once done, preview it. For me, it looked a little too fast, so I got rid of a few keyframes and just the other ones, so it still looked even. Now, at the end, if you want to make a little bit of a final zoom in type of transition to go into your edit, then feel free to do that. And also, make sure you've enabled motion blur to this composition, so it'll make it look a lot smoother. Now, finally, unless you're one of those clingy-ass people who just like to edge us off with an intro and not an edit, go ahead and work on your edit. I will say for this one shown on the screen, I did in fact use my lens blur transition and my color corrections. You can find my color corrections in the description, and go check out the tutorial I made for my iconic lens blurs right here. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing, and comment below on what tutorial trends you want next. Okay, bye.